I'm Travis Drake with Gator Metal Roofing. I'm the installation manager in the new Charlotte office. And we are up here in Sparta, North Carolina, doing our first standing seam Elite Series product. Just wanted to go through some of the steps and processes of what we're doing up here. Uh, the first step is we come up, we inspect the roof, uh, make sure that the roof is safe for our guys to work off of, get our measurements, get the process so that we know we're up material to have up here and the amount of material to put up here. The guys get are stripping the roof, um, getting everything off the roof, and then we lay an underlayment, a synthetic underlayment underneath it, and then we go back on the roof with our Elite Series standing seam metal. On a roof like this, they will do panels in sections, and they will go ahead and put those panels on, and then they will start putting ridge cap, putting flashing, those types of things on. Um, to make sure that that piece is finished out and also sealed up so that we don't have any issues with uh, water issues, uh, animals, critters, bugs, anything like that, because this is an install that will be a four to five day process. We have been asked by the customer to do what we call striding, which is putting a small increase or indentation into the metal to help with the overall strengthening and structure of the metal to keep it from warping um, and having a chance of what the term oil canning does up here. Because of where we're located, as you can see in this valley, they get a lot of direct sunlight up here. And when we do that, we recommend doing the striding just so that it just gives it that little extra integrity on the metal for the length of it. This customer had solar panels on it. We had a third party, they took those solar panels out, but we are having to take and cover up the holes, cut out the area that it was in, recess that back in, and then put new plywood and then new underlayment in there so that we have no issues with, one, the integrity of the roof, and two, any leaking within the roof. As you can see, this is a fairly new home, fairly custom home. Uh, the roof life was probably only about 50% of the way through, but they were having issues with leaking on their roof. Uh, bad installation from the time of install, and they've had several areas that they had leaking that was coming in. They were just getting little small spots, um, and eventually that just grew to where it became an area that they were getting uh, stains in their roofing, and also they were having to put buckets and things up in their attic space to help alleviate the water from hitting the sheetrock and insulation and causing further damage. Uh, the customer did his research on this and decided that if he was gonna replace his roof, he only wanted to replace it one more time and this was it. The roof is approximately about 75 squares. Um, it is on a 12-12 pitch, which makes it a little bit more complicated for our install team. Um, and as you can see with the roof, there are a lot of different roof lines, valleys, cut-ins with the roof. All those make it as a complicated for our install team to have to work around, flash around. They're having to work on ropes, on mattresses, on things like that, just because of the steepness of the roof. And anytime you have that, it just it adds a little extra variable to the tear off and then again on the installation side of it. For this particular project, we brought out our Elite Series Specialist uh, out of Greensboro, North Carolina to come up here um, and work on this type of job. This is one of those jobs that is a very custom job. Um, it is a large project. So we decided that this was gonna take a little longer to install um, and the customer was more than willing to wait for that to make sure that he had the right roof, the correct roof and the right finished product.